here. We've got ourselves an unboxing. This is just something small from uh, ebike.com. So, ebike, you, you guys should sponsor me. I don't know why you guys won't do it. Let's get into this. Boy, I really doing life right now. No time to waste. Have Zodiac's replacement gun gas airsoft mm. innovation adapter right here. I didn't even get that nice a box. <laughs> really? I got a different one. This should have the lube, which uh, I do need. I got some uh, CO2 guns. That you got the adapter, yeah, you the spare nozzle, and the you lube. got a bigger thing of lube than I did. That's good too. Yeah. Use a lot of CO2, you know. Yeah, CO2. That's what we need. To get dry. All right, so uh, that's yours. Well, I will be borrowing it still again. <laughs> okay. For this weekend at least. Alright, let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go now. The Beretta M92 feels really heavy just through the box. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Nice box. I'm sorry. Right, no time to waste, man. I gotta shoot this pistol like right now. Oh man, you wanna shit. Look at that brand new. I hold on, let me turn on the light. We gotta see this gun. We gotta see this gun with some more light. Look at that. Brand new in the wrapper. I almost never buy guns brand new anymore. I buy them all used. So for me, this is quite the experience. <laughs> ah yes, it's nice and it's nice and cold and heavy. Full metal I like M92. You, I like that you got it in black. Yeah, it only comes in black. Yeah, well, that's the best color. Yep. So this is the I think it's Elite Force. Oh, nice heavy magazine too. It's a CO2 gas blue bag. Feels really nice. It's got the, uh, the Pito Beretta trademarks, all real trademarks, and the Beretta grips. Really nice. Now, um, I'm not a fan of the M9 Beretta. I actually kind of didn't like the Beretta at first. And um, first time I picked up the Beretta, I got my hand jammed in the slide, and uh, <laughs> I really didn't like the trigger guards. Positive. So. so I didn't like the M9 in the past. Uh, I felt it was a really big, thick pistol for just a uh, 9mm, and this is really heavy, solid pistol though, and the thing I really didn't like about the M9 was um, the switch up here, the uh, how this was exposed, you can, but we were cocking Springer, so we would get our hands stuck in there, that was the mistake I had, but um, I didn't like the trigger guard, and the reason I attracted to the M92 A1 is because of this round trigger guard here, so the main reason that I got this pistol instead of any other M9 is because of that. It's a CO2, it's gonna kick really hard. And I'm planning to do a certain build with this gun, like a Wilson Combat build, get Wilson Combat grips and a Hitman compensator for the front of the gun. So it's gonna look really nice and it should shoot good. So I'm, I'm ready to shoot this. That doesn't attack. Huh? Pito Beretta. Pito Beretta. <laughs> it sucks. It feels so solid, I love it. Let's check that out. You know what this reminds me of is a, like a Marushan gun, the way it shoots. Like PPK. It's so fast I can't even see it. Like blow back. Alright. Now uh, we got ourselves this little switch here. I'm pretty excited to check this out. It's probably going to shoot good because it's CO2. I'm going to hold it uh, uh, one handed so we can see the kick. Are you going? Yep. Mm. Holy shit! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> that was insane. And uh, power stroke works. And decocker works. This gun is a full metal heavyweight beast. Heavyweight champion of the world? Yes, heavyweight <laughs> champion of the, the airsoft field. <laughs> Coming to your local airsoft field. And one more thing I want to check out is uh, if double action works. So let's see if double action works. Yes, it does. My FNX doesn't even do that. So, uh, wow. You can say I'm very impressed with this gun. The white dot sights, M9 hammer, full auto mode right now. We switched it any time, doesn't matter what's going on up here. I've heard some dude uh, say that he dropped it and this part broke. Uh, just don't drop it, of course. I'd recommend you might drop it. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> let's release that hammer there. And uh, see threaded barrels. So I, I'm not sure the the size of the the thread. So comment below if you know. I want to get a suppressor. My other plan is the Hitman uh, comp, which replaces 
Hitman Comp replaces this guide rod, so I'm not know if that's compatible either. Other plan is uh is Wilson Combat Grips. So that's the new gun. Gonna use this as soon as I can. Beef. Gonna shoot the uh the Beretta M M2 again. No, I want to, uh, you don't want to come in the rain? What do you do? What do you do in the rain? <laughs> Love the rain. Alright, so I'm going to chamber around and then decock it. And uh, we're going to see how the double action is. So the very first shot of double action. Alright, I hit the target. Um, I'm going to hit the, go for a little green plate. So this gun's got really snap. It's really snappy, uh, not a lot of recoil, like when I'm just looking through the sights, it don't even look like they're jumping or nothing, so very low recoil, but uh, don't get me wrong, the kick feels really nice. It's got like a kind of heavy trigger pull, I like it. That's how the other one was. This is a really hard switch to access, actually. It's like really thin and small. It's got to be, like, you know, covert. Oh! And <laughs> then <laughs> what did you do with first? Uh, so, we check G39. Plan to field this next time I play. Feels good to have propane again. 